now the mic's paying him over. Yee. So I'm a bit of a sad sack this morning. <laughs> it's 7.30 a.m. Sunday morning, and I'm sitting outside of a Walmart right now in the parking lot, and that alone is never a good sign. I'm holding my microphone because as I was taking it out of the bag, I broke the clip. So I got this janky setup. But the reason I'm at Walmart right now is I got a call early this morning that one of my trucks was graffitied, completely painted on one of the sides. So I'm here at Walmart to pick up some supplies and hopefully be able to take that paint off before it cures. I don't know the extent of the damage, but I'm trying to assess it and get it taken care of today. So by tomorrow, the truck can go out and I'm not a rolling billboard for whoever painted it. All right, here we are. It's about as bad as it could possibly be. And the big reveal, drum roll. They really had to just cover like pretty much as much as you possibly could cover on this truck. Let's take a closer look. Wow. R and R, you really outdid yourself this time. You know, this is what happens when people don't get hugged enough as children. And you know what, R and R, I'm sorry that you're in a stage of your life where this is what you need to do to get your energy out. You know, I honestly feel bad for you. But now we're on to see if this is even possible to remove. I've bought some supplies. So that's the next step. But as you can see here at my new warehouse, do a little view. The issue is this is a busy freeway. I counted and did some math and about 10,000 cars go by an hour here, which is great advertisement for my trucks, but I guess also makes it a prime target for vandalism and other issues. And since my last call, there was another truck that was right over here parked and that one had the lock broken on the back but surprisingly nothing was stolen out of the back so I'm not sure what they were doing I guess they didn't want any money they just wanted to mess some stuff up so we're gonna have to figure out a solution for that so we'll see if we can get this removed so I did a little bit of research online to see how exactly I can remove this and I'm gonna start with regular paint thinner see if that works because I guess it's not as harsh, less potential to ruin the side of the truck. If that doesn't work, then go to this lacquer thinner, which is a little bit more strong. If that doesn't work, I don't know, I might try gasoline. I'll try a host of different things. But I think the first one's going to work because it's nice and fresh. That's part of the reason why I wanted to get out here today and uh, try it and get it clean. All right, first test, damp cloth, paint thinner. Fingers crossed. Hey, it's coming off. Look at that. It's not going to be so bad after all. Not going to be so not going to be so bad after all. Look at that. Take that RNR. Can we take a moment to appreciate R&R's color choices? You know, I really like his choice of puke green and baby crap green. You know, it's an interesting combo, but I appreciate it. And I, you know, I, frankly, I respect the artistry. Too bad it's not gonna last more than 24 hours, but you know, you gotta appreciate art. Let me try this scrub brush now. See if I can get some paint thinner. Put some paint thinner down. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. You 
You know, r and is probably laying asleep right now in his mansion or penthouse loft somewhere while I'm out cleaning this. But, you know, it's not going to be too bad. I think I'm still going to have some of my Sunday. Got about one square foot done. Maybe 45 square feet left to go. You know, you know I suppose I should check to see if this can go on your skin or not. Let's see. Keep out of your eyes. Avoid prolonged contact with your skin. So we got Travis here helping me out. Travis pointed out something that's kind of funny. <laughs> he noticed that with the spray paint lines, there's no way that this guy is taller than like five foot six. Yeah. And we're thinking that might play into his destructive habits. <laughs> he might have a personality that he feels like he needs to prove something. Short man. But, yeah, he might have some kind of small man syndrome. <laughs> it almost works best to just put like a layer down yeah. and then go back over it. It's always like spreading it out. It's weird, it doesn't like come off right away. Yeah. Like, like it just has to sit for a couple right. minutes. Jeez, it's thick down there. Yeah, wherever he could reach. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the, the, the white pad? It might work, at least on the finisher, kind of. Yeah. I'm gonna grab another Tupperware thing too. Weird because it's so oily. Oh, yeah. Like, coagulates. This might be satisfying. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying. It's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Look at that. It's like when they do a tattoo and then they wipe it off after and it, off and and it looks, yeah, it looks perfect. Look at that. That's a beacon in the darkness. Yeah, we should have bought five times more rags. <laughs> five times the rag. This guy has? Just go out and ruin other people. Yeah. That's what I was saying. This guy definitely has a lot going on for himself. <laughs> I mean, there's a tinge of green still, but... <clears throat> it looks a lot better than... Yeah. <laughs> looks a lot better than it did at 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> right. So you think it's RNR or RLNR? It looked like... Or maybe that's a one. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, this is where we're at. Got the first half done pretty quickly, but then what happened is the afternoon came, the sun came out, and the second half just got baked on the side of the truck. So it was taking way more chemicals. You can see it's stuck. I mean, it went all the way over here but we have all this left. So yeah, there's a ton left. Um, ran out of chemicals, ran out of supplies. So we're gonna have to come back tomorrow and finish it. But this is basically what we're looking at. At least I'm glad that it is possible to get this off and we're gonna have a truck that's not completely tagged. Of course, it happened in my most expensive truck. This is a 2019 Kino, which if you know anything about box trucks, those are not cheap, but you know, at the end of the day, 
I'll be all right. It's not, not the end of the world. It was just a, a morning spent doing something that I didn't necessarily want to do. So if you guys like these kinds of vlog type videos, let me know. Pl <laughs> plenty of things are constantly happening that are probably entertaining and I can continue to do updates. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.